Understanding the nuances, personal versus professional communication. Hello, learners. Welcome back to another session in our series on email and letter writing. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating topic, the differences between personal and professional communication. Understanding these differences will help you immensely, both in your personal relationships and in your professional life. So, let's get started. First off, let's define what we mean by personal and professional communication. Personal communication usually takes place with friends, family, and loved ones. It is characterized by an informal tone and language, often filled with colloquialisms, idioms, slang, and abbreviations. On the other hand, professional communication occurs in a business or formal context, such as with colleagues, bosses, or clients. It tends to be formal, clear, concise, and respectful, avoiding slang and colloquial language. Now, let's look at the key differences between personal and professional communication. 1. Tone and language. In personal communication, you have the freedom to use informal language and a relaxed tone. However, professional communication requires a formal tone and precise language. 2. Content. Personal communication can cover a variety of topics, including personal interests and experiences. Professional communication, however, should be focused on work-related topics. 3. Emoticons and abbreviations. In personal emails and letters, it's common to use emoticons and abbreviations. In professional communication, these should be used sparingly, if at all. 4. Response time. While response time and personal communication can vary widely, timely responses are expected in professional communication. Interestingly, there can be a gray area where personal communication happens in a professional context. For example, you might send a birthday email to a colleague or a get well soon message to a boss. In such cases, while the content is personal, it's important to maintain a level of professionalism in tone and language. And there we have it. By understanding the differences between personal and professional communication, you can ensure you're using the appropriate tone and content for each context. Remember, the key is to be aware of who your recipient is and the purpose of your communication. We hope this video has given you valuable insights into how to handle personal and professional communication effectively. Stay tuned for more English language learning videos. Happy learning!